Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to go over this lead mold that we picked up from the iCast release this year along with one of the new ProTech powder paints. We're going to show you guys how to make some of these little finesse swim bait heads. So let's get to it. I've got my lead pot plugged in so I'm going to set my mold on top of it so they can preheat at the same time and then I'm going to show you these hooks. Alright so this mold recommends the Victory 10111 hooks in 1, 2, 3, and 4 out sizes. But if you're anything like me, when I look at new lead molds, I just see a mold with a 90 degree hook eye. And I'm like, oh, I have hooks with a 90 degree uh, hook eye. So I, when I first bought this mold, I didn't even order hooks. However, let me show you the difference in normal hooks and these. These are some of the 90 degree hooks that I already had. I've got some Eagle Claw, some uh, Victory, Mustad, Gamakatsu, all different brands. But I want to show you this new hook. Look at how much farther the hook eye sticks up compared to all of these. And these are all 2 aught hooks from all different brands compared to the 2 aught Victory that this mold calls for. So just keep that in mind when buying this mold. You will probably have to pick up these new hooks to fit some of these cavities. But yeah, just wanted to touch on that just so you guys aren't doing what I did and just order the mold, not the hooks, and think that your current hooks will fit. Our lead is hot and we are ready to get this mold loaded. So this is the 2 watt and an eighth ounce. We're going to use the 3 watt and the quarter ounce size. And I'll leave these little screw locks down below. It's the same screw locks that you use for making underspins. Um, there's two little slots in this mold, one for the hook and one for the screw lock. Just make sure you have those in place. Close this guy up. Make sure we got a nice good seal. Get those poured real quick. Let's check them out. There you go. I'm also going to put a little chart right up here to show you, even though the mold tells you 1 aught for this, 2 aught, 3 aught for these two, and 4 aught. Those sizes of hooks will fit multiple cavities, so I'll leave a little chart just to kind of show you guys what fits what. There's the first two. We're going to make the rest of these, and we'll clean them up and get on to the powder coat. So we got these all poured up, and as you can see, we have just that little sprue sticking off. I take just a pair of flush cut snips and just cut that off, and then you'll see you're left with just a little bit of a burr right there. You just take a little file. Just knock off those edges. And now you're ready for powder coat. Now on some of these you will notice there's a little bit of lead that'll kind of flash up around that hook eye. So I just keep a little exacto knife and just kind of go around the edges of it. And usually you can pop that off pretty easy. So you just clean all that up and then get to powder coating. We are ready to powder coat. So the new powder that we picked up was this electric shad color. I'm really excited to try this one out. Um, what I do is I take these little, I can't remember what they're called, little snips just to hold on to it. I'll heat it for just a few seconds, dip it in the powder real fast, heat it again to set that powder, and then we'll bake it in the oven. So based on what heat source you're using is going to determine how long you heat this. For my little cheap heat gun, I can usually heat each side for about three to four seconds, dip it in the powder, and I'm good to go. So let's get to it. We got them all dipped in powder. We're gonna throw them in the toaster oven real quick. We're gonna bake them at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes, and then we'll check them out when we're done. We got everything out of the oven. So you can see this is that electric shad color. And you can see it kind of has the same effect as like the violet sparkle flake that we use in soft plastics. Really cool little color. I'm pretty excited to use this. I think this would look really good. Um, I should have done it on some of these, but I just thought of it. Make a white pearl belly and then put this over the top. I think that would look really, really nice. We got all these baked and ready to go. We're going to put some eyeballs on it. We're just going to use our super glue gel. Put a dot of super glue on each side. And these are just um, four millimeter eyes. 
that I got from, I don't remember, Amazon or one of the um, Chinese companies. I can't read the writing that's on there. I just know they're four millimeter eyes. Get whatever eyes you would like. You might be able to fit a five millimeter in this quarter inch size or quarter ounce size, but I like the looks of these fours. And there we have that little guy. I'm gonna go ahead and get the eyes on the rest of these and then we'll check them all out. And there we have the final product. This is the electric shad powder coat. This is the quarter ounce size, three out hook, four millimeter eye. And then over here on the eighth ounce size, we have the two out hook and a three millimeter eye. I think these are gonna be great little finesse swim bait applications. I'll probably on the eighth ounce size throw my little 2.6 inch swim bait most of the time. And then on the bigger quarter ounce, I'll probably go up to the 3.8 inch. Really, really excited to get these new little swim bait heads. Let me know what you guys think. We appreciate you guys watching and all the continued support. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.